we are going to piss some people off with this video because they're not going to know how to take it. They're not going to see the underlying message. That's okay. We're going to do it anyway. Buckle up. Here we go. In my last video, I told a story about dealing with a bully and how after 25 years, looking back at things, I came out on top. And a lot of people jumped in the comments and sympathized. They had been bullied as a child. They understood it. And they said it was a great story. But there were some people that jumped in the comments and were just talking about how bad bullying was. And I have a completely different take on being bullied. So here's my unpopular opinion. I'm glad I was bullied. Being bullied was worth every minute. Being bullied took my greatest strength, which was perseverance, and magnified it beyond anything I could have ever imagined. See, no matter what you do in life, to be good at it, you have to have perseverance. And what the bullies did was they supercharged my perseverance. They made me stronger and they made me tougher. There was a movie I saw once where they were talking about how to get better at fighting. And the guy said the best way to get better at fighting is just to be in fights. And that's true. Looking back, high school was probably a street fighter training ground. It made me stronger, but not just in physical fights, but in emotional ones as well. It made me emotionally stronger, less dependent on other people. The idea that I knew who I was and what I was and wasn't going to allow other people to change it. All that was amplified by bullies. To the people that bullied me in middle school and high school, the world changed. They went from being able to bully me to by the time I was finishing up high school, there were three things that you knew as a bully. Number one, I'm gonna get an A for effort in the fight that we're about to be in. Number two, while you may beat me, you will feel pain. And number three, I'm gonna cheat because if you're not cheating, you're not trying. And what they say about bullies just backing down whenever you stand up to them, that's bullshit. They don't. Most bullies double down because they know they're bigger and they know they're stronger. But in the end, after you've taken beating after beating after beating, the bullies either A, get bored, B, realize they can't beat you, or C, come to some kind of respect for you, which improves how they treat you. That, or you just eventually beat their ass and they go away. The strength to be me, how I was naturally, that came from being bullied. My self-confidence and independent thinking was strengthened by the bullies as they picked on me and harassed me and beat me because I realized that no matter what you do, you can't make everybody happy. Somebody's always gonna be pissed off with what you're doing. So that just set further in my mind and strengthened my resolve that I'm gonna be me no matter what. Because hell, it doesn't matter what other people think. And I'm sure as hell not gonna let other people change what I think. Because of all of these experiences, being bullied through middle school and high school, I can walk into any room now and just not care what people think. I'm me, standing tall the way I am. And the world can piss off. Because of bullies, I'm stronger physically, but emotionally, I'm unstoppable. The level of my emotional toughness is way beyond most people that I know. So when people ask me what my opinion is on bullying, I say it's horrible and evil and should be stopped. But it's also necessary and an important part of our culture. Notice I didn't say it was good. I just said it was important. So let's talk about that. Greatness isn't made without struggle, sacrifice, and hardship. Anything worth having, you have to sacrifice to have it. When someone is bullied, they basically have two choices. They can fold and let the bully be the best of them and collapse under the pressure, or that energy that the bully is putting into them, they can transform into more power to stand up and build themselves and increase who they are so that they become immune to bullies over time. So when you see somebody that you love being bullied, yes, you should absolutely try to stop it. But you should also realize that no matter what you do in life, you're never going to stop bullying. You just have to support the people that are being bullied. So when somebody that you love is being bullied, you should of course do what you can to stop it. But you should also realize that you'll never be able to stop bullying completely. So instead of focusing all your time and attention on stopping the bully, take your time and attention and put it on the person that you love and help build up their strength and inner confidence. If, as a person, you have the support network and the confidence and the intellect and the strength, bullies become irrelevant. 
We seem to be spending a lot of our time chasing down bullies and not enough of our time building stronger people. And remember, it's okay for life to be hard. It's even okay for life to be really, really hard. Remember, great people are made by hard times and soft people are made by good times. So are you raising people to be great people or are you raising them to be soft? Kids will always fight. It's natural, it's good. But you should raise them in such a way that they have the strength and self-confidence that they don't need to fight. And to go along with that, kids are gonna cry. Good, it's good for them. Let them cry. Let them do things where they get hurt and cry. Because in the end, that will build a stronger person. In the end, bullying is evil. But in our society, it is a necessary evil to create stronger people that one day will get us through the great struggles that we're about to face. So there you've heard it, my unpopular opinion and something you won't hear from most people. But if you agree with me, jump in the comments, give me a thumbs up and let me know why you agree with me. And if you disagree with me, you should jump in the comments and just bully the crap out of me. Because I don't care. Everybody, I really hope you enjoyed the video. The best way to support the channel is jump on over to the merch store and check out some of the t-shirts that we have. Y'all have a wonderful day. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll talk to you later.